and uncontaminated. What? It doesn't matter. It could be water, it could be gold, or it could be garlic. But when it's pure and uncontaminated, it sounds appealing and valuable. And this is true even with our minds. The more pure our mind is, the better we feel and the better the person we are. The mind is the instrument through which we attain knowledge. Even in the everyday sense, we hear, we see, we touch, we smell, we taste, and that's how we get to know the world. We feel the breeze and know that the storm is coming. We can smell the bakery far before we can even see it. We taste the sauce and we know, oh, these are fresh ingredients or it's spoiled. And the information that comes in through our senses only makes sense to us when it goes up into our mind. The mind is the instrument that we use to attain knowledge. There's a wonderful example given by the scriptures where milk is poured into a bottle and it spoils. And so it's emptied out and fresh milk poured into a bottle, it spoils. It's thrown out and this process repeats itself until the person realizes the bottle is dirty. And so every time pure milk is poured into it, it spoils. The thing we have to do is wash out the bottle. The same applies with our mind. The mind is the container which holds the knowledge. And when the mind is dirty, whatever comes in gets spoilt and contaminated. We see this in the world all the time with medicine, with law. People use it in selfish, manipulative ways. But it holds even more true for spiritual knowledge. When we gain this knowledge, and if our mind's not pure, we misunderstand it, or we don't understand it, or we get it and we misuse it. Therefore, in the scriptures, this emphasis that Krishna puts in the Bhagavad Gita to purify our minds. The thing that we really want pure and uncontaminated is ourselves.